Hello there again, everybody. We're here, we're here, and we're wrapping up episode 58 with the usual, the indie news segment, uh, results, upcoming shows, and fantastical news, or sometimes not so fantastical news, coming from you're not WWE's, you're not TNA's. You're not Lucha Underground's. You're not Lucha Underground's. Uh, all those guys who uh, try and pack the small time auditoriums on the weekends. Doing and, a pretty good job of it. And, uh, you know, busting their ass the whole way. You know, risking themselves a lot more than you see the WWE guys do on TV. Yep. Uh, for the sake of entertaining you and us. Yay! Uh, so, you know, we're just gonna delve into it the way we usually do with some results, and I know you have some stuff from Ring of Honor. I do indeed. Uh, this past Wednesday was the 200th episode of Ring of Honor TV. They had a big eight-person tag team match for their main event. It was, it was the House of Truth with Jay Lethal, uh, Donovan Dijak, Jay Diesel, and Truth Martini taking on the team of Mark and Jay Briscoe, Roderick Strong, and ODB. Uh, apparently, you know, obviously when you've got people like, you know, Truth Martini who just kind of throws House of Truth members all around, you got the crazy Briscoes, you got ODB, Roderick Strong doing his thing, there was a lot of crash and burn, blah, blah, blah. ODB actually wound up uh, stuck between all four members of the House of Truth until her partners made the save. This allowed her, or this left her and Truth Martini in the ring, and she rolled up Truth Martini to get the win for her team. This was the only match on TV this week, because a lot of it was, uh, well, it was a lot of build-up, because uh, this past Friday, on the 24th, we had Death Before Dishonor. Live on iPay-Per-View. We unfortunately didn't get to see it, but I still got results for you. Uh, Silas and Young. don't count us out yet. We could see it. Yeah. Later. Yeah, we, we might give you a reaction video. Uh, we had Silas Young defeat Will Ferrara via Misery, his spinning TKO. Uh, Dalton Castle's boys were out at ringside and actually uh, made fun of and kind of embarrassed uh, uh, Silas Young with the help of Will Ferrara. Then all three of them posed at the end and Silas Young stormed off like a bitch. I'm seeing maybe there's a tentative formation in the future of Will Ferrara and uh, Dalton Castle. Maybe. We could probably see. This is the second time that the boys yeah. have crossed paths with Will Ferrara, so. Yeah. Except the boys didn't die this time. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. not that. Uh, we had Moose taking another loss uh, to Cedric Alexander. Cedric Alexander using. The wrench again, which started this whole thing, and his alliance with Beta Scott. Son of a Beta Scott. Okay. See what I did there? Ah! <laughs> Son of a whore. Right? Close enough. Yay! Alright. Uh, <laughs> we had, uh, with the Briscoes. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, we had the Briscoes defeat uh, team. They beat ah da 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 ah da da da, uh, which brand, is brand new tag team. No, uh, Briscoes beat uh, Rapongi Vice with a uh, Jay Driller uh, Froggy Bow combo. Um, On the Trent. What? On the Trent. Yes. You read my spoilers and stuff. I'm just psychically pulling it out of your head. What am I thinking right now? Mm, you want more biscuits and gravy chips. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> you made me lose my place. I don't know what's going on now. You have way too much going on in there. That's why I keep everything nice and abbreviated on the paper. Uh, we had Adam Cole defeat Dalton Castle with a vertical neck breaker. Ooh, uh, that's the worst kind of neck breaker. <laughs> Adam Page defeated ACH in their notice qualification match, hitting the right of, right of passage through a table. Ow. Yeah. Uh, we had the Addiction retain the tag team titles uh, after Frankie hit uh, Celebrity Rehab on Bobby Fish. 
And in the main event, we had Jay Lethal and Roderick Strong go to a one hour time limit draw, Jay Lethal retaining the ROH world title. I want to see that match because I can only imagine what those two can do for an hour in the wrestling ring. Yeah. Like, I'm. I'm it, so- it blows my mind nowadays thinking of any indie stars uh, going to an hour long Broadway, hour long tie. Yeah. Uh, you don't really expect it nowadays with just because of how uh, high impact a lot of their maneuvers are. Oh, for sure. Uh, you know. So, yeah, it's always kind of fun to hear about it because it doesn't happen very often either. Yeah, hour long, hour long time limit draws are sort of a rarity anymore. Uh, Still fun to see. You know, it's kind of a throwback to the '70s, '80s NWA championship days. Definitely. Guys like Harley Race and Ric Flair doing six hour long draws a week. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's all I got for Ring of Honor results. What you got, Hawk? All right. On the 24th, PWG in Reseda, California brought us Tremendous Four. Woo! Uh, we had Team Tremendous defeat the world's cutest tag team. Uh, Brian Cage defeated Johnny Gargano. Uh, and Sorry, Johnny. I know. Uh, Andrew Everett defeated Rich Swan. Uh, Trevor Lee defeated Tommaso Ciampa. Oh. Uh, Speedball Mike Bailey defeated Chris Hero. Uh, Ricochet defeated Akira Tozawa. Um, Post match, Super Dragon came out, started attacking Ricochet. Ooh. Uh, Tozawa started fighting off Super Dragon. The Young Bucks came out, both wearing Super Dragon masks. Uh, what? Started attacking Tozawa. Uh, very much like last show. Uh, a lot of different people came out. Uh, World's Kids Tag Team came out. They got beat up. Uh, Mike Bailey came out. He got beat up. And then the people who finally were able to make the save uh, for Tozawa and Ricochet were Angelico and Jack Evans, who would face the Young Bucks in the main event for the Tag Team Championships. I want to see that match so bad. And the Young Bucks would retain... Well, the tag team titles over on Helico and Jack Evans. Hell yeah. Right? That's some cool shit going on right there. I don't see that. It's built up towards their tournament. Right. Because we know both Helico and Evans are going to be in the BOLA. The BOLA. BOLA 15. And then we move on to the 25th. We had Shine 28 I pay per view coming from Eber City, Florida. Uh, we had Malia Hosaka. Malia. Osaka. Did I say that right the first time? I don't know. She defeated La Rosa Negra in the opening match. Uh, we had Amanda Rodriguez defeat Renee Michelle. Uh, Tracy Taylor defeated Sue Young. Uh, Leva Bates defeated Amber Gallows. Oh. Uh, Vanessa Craven defeated Jessica Havoc. Uh, Allison Kay defeated Mia Yim. Uh, the tag team titles were on the line. Uh, Cherry Bomb and Kimberly successfully defended against... Andrea and Marty Bell. <laughs> yeah, uh, Andrea has no last name. Yeah, uh, the Kimber Bombs are the Shine and the Shimmer tag team mm-hmm. champions. And then in the main event, uh, Santana Garrett successfully defended the Shine Championship against Ivelisse. Ivelisse, uh, the match was stopped. Referee said that Ivelisse was unable to continue. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah. Not sure why. Oh. Uh, but then post the match ending, Ivelisse refused to shake her hand. Oh. Well, we know Ivelisse has an attitude. So. A little bit. That's, uh, that's, that's, a, that's kind of her thing. Always has been. Some attitude issues? A little bit. Maybe. And then we had Chikara. Chikara! Presenting Storming the Castle from yeah. South Windsor, Connecticut. Yeah, buddy. I like saying South Windsor, Connecticut because it sounds fancy. <laughs> uh, and then we know there we had the Battle Live represented by Amasis and Worker and Defeat. The Crown and Court being represented by Los Ice Creams. Duh. Uh, Lucas Calhoun defeated Argus. Uh, this was one of the Move of the Night matches. Move of the Night being the Fisherman <laughs> Suplex performed by Argus. But Calhoun got the victory anyhow. With the greetings from 
Memphis, right? Yes, greetings from Memphis. Uh, Arcane Horde defeated the Snake Pit. That was the Batiri over Eddie Kingston and Ophidian. Holy shit. Uh, Ophidian taking the fall for the Snake Pit. Uh, Dashers dug out in Atomico's action, defeated the Gentleman's Club. Heidi Loveless getting the victory over Orange Cassidy. Yes. Uh, uh, Orange Cassidy uh, took a liking to Heidi Loveless, from mm -hmm. what I read, um, and that ended up being his downfall. Absolutely. Sugar Dunker knows all about that. Oh. He had the same problem with Daisy Hayes back in the BDK days. Mm -hmm. Really? BDK? Mm -hmm. Toothpick Daisy Hayes? Yep. Sugar. Uh, Jaka defeated Nakin due to some I, botched interference on the part of Jakob Hammermeyer. Yeah, I, I bet that was a hard hitting match. Those yeah, there's dudes. a great uh, picture somebody posted of Jaka doing, or not Jaka, uh, Nakin doing the Undertaker old school oh, on Jaka. Nice. Yeah, doing the tightrope walk. Very nice. Uh, Juan Francisco de Coronado defeated Silver Ant via low blow into a German suplex. Really, bro? And in the main event, in two falls to one, the Devastation Corporation successfully retained the Campeonatos de Parejas against Kimberly and Jervis Cottonbelly. But then we had another... Chikara again! Chikara uh, encore match. These, you know, yeah, Chikara having encore matches, which is pretty cool. This, this is something... This is, some, is going to be become a thing. This is like... You're, you're going to have an... Like, if you go to a Chikara show... You're almost guaranteed to have an extra match just because Chikara loves their fans, and the fans get can get really active and just crazy in the Chikara uh, Chikara crowds. So yeah, and this one happened to be a six-way scramble match, fun where Shinron got the victory over Fire Ant, Frightmare, Missile Assault Ant. Um, how many other people were in this? Two more. Two more. Uh, Oleg, the Usurper, and the Proletariat for Moldova. Hmm. There you go, Shinron. A lot of talent in that match. Yeah. And Shinron winning with a 450 splash. Snake pit. And then I know that you've got some news about the ROH TV tapings. Yes. That happened. I do indeed. Uh, At the same time. Yeah, this is this is something we didn't quite go over last week, uh, but on the 25th there were some TV tapings, so these are the matches we'll be getting over the course of the next couple months. Uh, we got Watanabe taking on ACH. Uh, we got a guy named Tim Hughes taking on Adam Page. Uh, the Kingdom taking on uh, Red Dragon. We've got uh, War Machine taking on the House of Truth. Dalton Castle taking on Silas Young again. Uh, we got Will Ferrara taking on Moose. I'm sorry, Will Ferrara. That's scary. Uh, RPG Vice taking on the Young Bucks. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got uh, the Bloodhound Warriors. I don't know who. Uh, Red Scorpion and Grey Wolf uh, taking on the Briscoes. Donovan Dijak taking on Roderick Strong. Uh, and then we've got. Bunch of little uh, in-ring things. Uh, we got the Addiction uh, taking on. Oh, I can't say that. Can't see it. Mmm. Mmm. You got to wait for that to happen. I can't mm. tell you that. We also got Adam. <laughs> Don't eat suicide's head. All right. We also have Adam Page taking on Jay Briscoe, Cedric Alexander versus Caprice Coleman, and a grudge match between Brutal Bob Evans and Cheeseburger. And we also have an ROH TV title match where Jay Lethal will defend against Hanson. That'll be all in the upcoming weeks of ROH TV. There's a lot of stuff in there I'm excited yeah. to see. Lots of stuff. I'm, I want to see the Hanson Lethal match. Yeah. Because uh, I know they had a TV title match quite a few months ago, and it was considered right, the yeah. big match of the year candidates. Yeah, and it's, it's a big conflict of styles because, I mean, Hanson's like twice as big as Jay Lethal. Absolutely. So, yeah. And then on the 26th, 
Chikar came back Chikar to us again. from Our Providence, defense. Rhode Tell Island me. at Fet Music. I had to up it. Yeah, this is part of Fet Music's uh, this we, double feature. Man, if you were at the, if you were at this show and you got to see Chikara and Beyond Wrestling, that's awesome. That's awesome, and I hate you because and I couldn't go. And confusing, yeah. Because a lot of the people who are like faces or heels in Chikara are playing like opposite sides of the card on in Beyond Wrestling. That's the great thing about indie wrestling, though, is the crowds know that. Yeah. That's and that that's that's a really interesting thing. You know, when we we watched AIW's Absolution, and it's you know there was certain people I was I was expecting them to be baby faces, and they weren't. And there was people I was expecting to get booed out of the building, and they weren't. <laughs> it's just it's a really weird situation as far as uh, independent wrestling goes. Yeah, uh, we started off with the non-COTI match between Amasis and Frankman, where Amasis got the win via 450 splash. Yeah, buddy. Uh, we had uh, the BDK contingency of Jakob Hammermeyer and Soldier Ant defeat Dasher Dugouts, Heidi Loveless, and Icarus. Mm. Um, the Batiri were able to eliminate Juan Francisco de Coronado, the proletariat boar, in the Four Corners tag team match. Uh, and then the BDK would eliminate Jaka and Oleg. Uh, taking advantage of uh, being able to isolate Jaka while Oleg was arguing with Cindy Bacabella. Ooh. Dissension with the Wrecking Crew. And then the BDKs, Nakin and Pinky Sanchez, would eliminate the Batiri to walk away from the Four Corners elimination match with two points. And we do know that uh, Kodama suffered some sort of foot injury uh, at Storming the Castle, but still wrestled at the Immaculate Election. Uh, and uh, this Monday, or when you're watching this, is his 33rd birthday, so uh, be sure to uh, wish him a happy day of birth while he's hobbling around on crutches. Yeah, also uh, to note on the Amasis Frightmare match, this is Amasis' third singles victory, which puts him in contention for the Grand Championship at a future Chikara Oh, show. Amasis versus Halla Wicked? Or Dash or Happy. Or, uh, oh yeah, I, I forgot this match happened. Championship match. Uh, which we're not there yet. I don't even know, I don't even know the result of the match. I just immediately went to Halla Wicked, but shit. Because Dash we had the Snake Pit versus Crown and Court in an Atomicos match. Snake Pit getting the victory. I told you. I told you it was going to be a bad weekend for Crown and Court, and they lost every single match they were in. Yeah. Uh, and there was a note that after this match, there seemed to actually be some sort of dissension within the Crown and Court. Yeah, because they've only got like one COTI point, don't they? Something like that. They're, they're very low. They're, they the are rankings. in last place as far as COTI stands. Uh, then we had... Blaster McMassa versus Silver Ant. This was the move of the night match. The Ooh. move being the triangle choke. Interesting. Which to finish the match, Silver Ant applied the triangle choke to Blaster McMassive, but Blaster McMassive hit him with two repeated power bombs in order to get the victory. That keep me down. You only have power bomb me once, I'll stay down. And then we had a trios match COTI. Uh, the Gentlemen's Club versus the Battle Hive uh, contingency, Ashley Remington and the Colonies, Fire Ant and Worker Ant. Uh, Gentlemen's Club getting the victory. Oh, okay. uh, and then in the main event, we did have the Grand Championship on the line. Hollow Wicked successfully defending against Dasher Hatfield, defeating him with the Jakar Special. Oh, well. Sometimes you, just, you, you can't can't help but tap out the Jakar Special. No. Yeah. Been there, done that. Yeah, that was kind of, sure. I was kind of hoping for a swerve and have uh, have Dasher take it. But. Yeah, so we could see very soon in a future Shakara event of Mosses taking on Hollow Wicked for the Grand Championship. Awesome. Yeah, I dig it. Uh, and then just a few moments later, like two hours or something of that nature. So I don't know. Uh, Beyond Wrestling came to your faces with American Rana 2015. I, I can't do a Hurricane Rana, so I'm, I'm not going to paint No, you don't have to do a Hurricane Rana. You have to do an American Rana, which I can only assume is like a Hurricane Rana, but much fatter and lazier. Um, oh, I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we opened up with Speedball Mike Bailey defeating Dynamite Danny Cannon. Dynamite Danny Cannon coming out of retirement to face Speedball Mike really? Bailey in this match. Yeah. 
Uh, All right. Then we had the kingdom with Maria Canellis defeating Biff, Busick, and Drew Gulak. Ah, uh, uh, yes. The Garden State Gods defeated the Hoods, the Symbiote, and the team of Anthony Stone and uh, Nicholas K in a four corners tag team match. Uh, which I heard that uh, at some point, Davy Vega from the Symbiote did a top rope rana or top rope moonsault, some top rope move that involved a backflip to the floor and hit his head and had to get stitches. Ouch. Yeah. Um, David Starr defeated Johnny Gargano using Gargano's own submission hold, the Gargano Escape. Ooh. Uh, that was fight words. Yeah. The, line. the Beaver Boys defeated the team of Brian Myers and Ryan Galeone. Uh, Matt Tremont defeated Stockade in the casket match. Oh, that's right. Uh, Hot Sauce Tracy Williams defeated A.R. Fox. Uh, then, after this match, uh, Dan Barry of Team Tremendous were to come out and talk about how his partner Bill Carr's foot got injured during the match with the world's cutest tag team at PWG's Tremendous. Ooh, okay. Uh, so they were supposed to go into a tag team match against the best friends. Uh, so he was able to find a replacement for uh, his partner in the form of Super Cop Dick Justice. Well, if you expected it to be anybody else, you are wrong. Yep. Uh, the best friends would happen to take it. They would happen to get the victory over tremendous investigations. Uh, on a somber note, this will be the last time we see the best friends teaming up. Didn't they already say that, though? Yes, but this is Chuck Taylor's retirement tour. Oh, that's right. Damn. Uh, Damn, that made me sad. Yep. So, yeah, they're saying that this is the uh, last time that the best friends have been booked for the foreseeable future. Wow. That's <clears throat> uh, Donovan Dijak defeated Brian Fury, uh, and then in a five against five Atomico Styles match, uh, Team Pazuzu, uh, Chris Dickinson, Jaka, Pinky Sanchez, uh, Mike Drastic and Angel Ortiz defeated the team of the Hit Squad, which is uh, Monster Mac and Mafia, Shinron, Nick Gage, and Eddie Kingston. Uh, we wow, had that's a hell of a team. Yeah, uh, very violent team. Yeah, and then Shinron, who's flipping. He's he's aerial violence. Was, thank you. I was trying trying to form those words. He did it for me. Thank you. Uh, and then Kimberly defeated Heidi Loveless. Ooh. And in the main event, a tag team match, a year in the making, or so they said. Uh, Chris Hero and JT Dunn, also known as Death by Elbow, defeated the Young Bucks. Uh, that's it for results. Uh, a lot of stuff happened yeah. over the weekend. Lots of shows. Ring of Honor, Two Chicago's, PWG, Beyond Wrestling, and Shine. Uh, uh, a lot of our favorites. Yeah. And uh, so, getting into the more news-ish side of things. Yeah, we got a, we got a couple things. Small uh, stories here. Um, let's. I want to get things kicked off. Just talking about our favorite weekend in independent wrestling. Check out that. King of trios. Yeah, buddy. Uh, happening in September. So four, we're fifth, and six. Getting pretty right after my birthday. We're getting pretty darn close. Yeah, we are. Uh, to those uh, days. I'm getting. Closer to being older. Yeah. Crap. And just announced uh, was the trio representing the Battle Hive. Indeed, they of were. Mosses will be teaming up with Fire Ant and Worker Ant of the Colony. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting uh, King of Trios because we're getting just these these much different combinations than we than we would normally get. You know, I, we we talked about this you know even before. Uh, the COTI captains were naming their teams. That you know, the fact that we're getting Ophidian on one team and Amasis on another, and I mean, and just just the thought of those two who are usually teaming together on opposite teams is strange enough. But then you know that Ophidian's got Eddie Kingston and Shinron, and Amasis is teaming with the Colony. It's just it's such a weird. Uh, it's, it's a ah, it's just, strange dichotomy. It, it's very strange to see these just kind of random pairings uh, going into King of Trios. And yeah, and to me, the one thing that I see as like my part that I find the most interesting is 
uh, watching trios who would normally participate together be having the potential of facing each other in other matches. Right. Because uh, the Nightmare Warriors don't have a team announced yet, but one of their members is Silver Ant. Yeah. And we know both members, both of the other members of the colony, Fire Ant and Worker Ant, are in the Battle Hive. Yeah. So there could be potential for all three members of the colony to end up in the same match against each other. Which could be really strange. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, lots of different things like that that could happen. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's the only, that's the only new trio added. Uh, I've got one more update as far as the... Uh, what we're now calling the Rising Stars of Wrestling line, uh, the action figures coming out of Figures Toy Company. Uh, go back through the Indian News the last couple months, we got all kinds of updates, but another Bullet Club member is joining the line. We officially are getting a Tama Tonga action figure joining AJ Styles, Amber O'Neill, Doc Gallows, and the Young Bucks as far as uh, the Bullet Club is concerned. So we could be looking at a Bullet Club box set coming up. And Kenny. And Kenny Omega, yes. Kenny's there too. Yep. Carl, um, Carl, you're... Don't leave your mouth. You're, you're, hold, you're holding up everybody. Yeah, Just, man. You could even... Yeah, I, I bet they you like have a prop machine gun or something, too. Ah, that'd be cool. <laughs> uh, that's all we got as far as news. Yeah, nothing too uh, special coming out of this one. Just some, uh, for some news wise. Some interesting updates, that's about it. Uh, but then we do have upcoming shows. I'm going to take this one off. Go for it. Take off with this one. Or take it off with it. Run with it. I'm just going to take Run. it off. Taking it off. Not getting that's... naked. I'm not getting naked. I appreciate that. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, so on the 8th of August, Combat Zone Wrestling presents Retribution. From Voorhees, New Jersey, uh, there is going to be a pre-show because the main show will be presented live on iPay-Per-View. Oh, cool! But we do have uh, Joey Janela versus JT Dunn. All right. On the pre-show, as well as Sozio versus Ryan Galliani from the front. Oh. And if Sozio is to win by pinfall or submission, uh, Sozio would get a five-minute match with the manager of the front. And if Sozio is to win in that five-minute match, the front has to permanently disband. Oh, big things on the line. Yeah. And then in, on the main card, we only have three announced matches so far. Greg Excellent is going to be taking on Dick Justice. Uh, Matt Tremont is going to be taking on Pepper Parks in a Voorhees Street Fight. That's scary. Uh, the name Voorhees Street Fight. That, yeah, has some like really scary connotations. Let's think of Jason from Friday the 13th. <laughs> and then we do know that the Wired Championship will be on the line. Tim Dots will be defending against Frankie Picard. Ooh. And then on the 9th, the next day, AAW presents Bound by Hate from Marionette Park, Illinois. I've been seeing these matches pop up. A couple matches. Stuff. I've I've got. Uh, Lewis Linden versus Christian Faith over the Heritage Championship. Uh, a tag team match, anything goes, between Eddie Kingston and Shane Hollister versus uh, Matt Cage and Tyson Ducks. Uh, Zero Gravity will be taking on Davey Vega and Matt Fitchett in a tag team match, as well as Matt Seidel versus Johnny Gargano. I found out something interesting today. I don't know if you know this. Do you know who else Christian Faith is? When he takes the mask off, do you know who he is? Mm, can't say that I do. Ricky Shane Page. Alright. Found that out today. Spoiler alert, guys. In case you didn't know. It's on his Facebook page, so. Oh, alright. It's not a hidden thing. Someone did a, a really cool uh, fan art where he had... Uh, Christian Faith kind of looking over his shoulder, and then a Ricky Shane Page walking out of the the winged jacket, uh, and it said "Faith No More" on the bottom of it. Hmm, that's funny because that's actually the name of an upcoming uh, AIW show. Interesting. Yeah. 
But that's not the most upcoming AIW show. What is? On the 14th, AIW presents Battle of the Sexes. Oh, yeah. 2015. This is going to be good. Uh, from Strongsville, Ohio. <laughs> not Cleveland. But that's okay. You can be in a different city every now and again. You gotta change up. Ain't, that, ain't nothing wrong with doing a wrestling show in a place called Strongsville. Yeah, you gotta change up the scenery every now and again. The scenery. Uh, we got Lewis Linden taking on Heidi Loveless. Uh, we got the te tag team champions to Infinity uh, taking on Sugar and Spice. Yeah, an extremely attractive tag team. Taylor uh, Hendricks. Good. And uh, Mary Elizabeth Monroe. I don't know her very also much. Also hot. She, I know, I know she's hot, but Taylor Hendricks. Good. Then we got a match I can only say is got to be spawning from the feud over the uh, AIW Absolute Championship, where Ricky Shane Page is going to be going against Veda Scott. Yes. Veda uh, Scott may be trying to get some revenge over the fact that Ricky Shane Page almost killed her <laughs> during the main event of Absolute. Yes. Yes, he did. <laughs> Uh, then we have Ethan Page taking on Allison Kay. Nice. Uh, Eddie Kingston is going against Mia Yim. <laughs> That's going to be funny. Fun to watch. Uh, I think we've got another another match like that. Yeah, uh, similar uh, circumstances. Uh, we have uh, Madman Pondo versus Crazy Mary Dobson. That'll I'm be curious if that's going to be a no disqualification match. If it is, things will go crazy. And then we have the co-trainers of the AIW Wrestling School, Johnny Gargano, going head-to-head -head against Candice LeRae. Yeah. And then we have two shows on the 15th. Oh. Uh, Evolve presents Evolve 47 from Queens, New York. Nice. Uh, the premier athlete brands Anthony Nice and Caleb Conley will be holding an open challenge. Uh, Biff Busick will take on Hot Sauce Tracy Williams. Uh, Trent Beretta will take on Ray Horace. Chris Hero will take on Speedball Mike Bailey. Uh, we'll have Rich Swan versus Drew Gulak, a rematch from the last time Evolve was in Queens, New York. Uh, Johnny Gargano versus Ethan Page. And Timothy Thatcher versus Zack Sabre Jr. Nice. Uh, also, we're going to be having the next Chikara event Chikara. on the 15th. And that's coming out of the Wrestle Factory in Philadelphia, oh. Pennsylvania. Got and it is called show. The Good Life. No matches have been announced for this as of yet. But I'm sure they'll start popping up soon because they only got a couple weeks. Man. It's coming up fast. Start, start putting stuff out there. And then on the 16th, we have Evolve 48 coming out of Deer Park, New York. With the likes of... The premier athlete brand, again, this time represented by all three members, Caleb Conley, Tony Nees, and Trent Beretta, will be holding an open challenge. Uh, also, Drew Gulak and Hot Sauce Tracy Williams will be taking on Ray Horace and Speedball Mike Bailey. Uh, Johnny Gargano will be uh, taking a, a mystery opponent as picked by Ethan Page. Uh, Chris Hero versus Zack Sabre Jr. in The Best versus The Best. And Timothy Thatcher versus Biff Busick in a champion versus champion, no titles on the line, no holds barred match. Wow. Well, all right. And that's what I got for upcoming shows, but I know that there's one set of peeps who haven't got a shout out on the upcoming shows yet, and that's your boys over at Ring of Honor. Yep, Ring of Honor. Uh, that's the, the Ring of Honor. Ring of Honor. Okay. Yeah. Briscoe style. So, so Ring of Honor. They're going to be finishing up their Aftershock Tour on August 21st in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania at the 20, 2300 Arena. I am mad. I'm just from Philly. Uh, no matches announced for those particular tapings yet. Uh, but the next day is Field of Honor. This will be in Brooklyn, New York at uh, MCU Park. Uh, these shows are going to be the return of the, uh, PW, or the uh, New Japan stars. we got Okada, Nakamura, and you Kushida. You almost said PWG? I did almost say PWG. NJPW. 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 Uh, so yeah, Newport. on Saturday, August 22nd at MCU Park, we have Field of Honor. We have the following matches. Uh, we have Killer Elite Squad uh, taking on War Machine. Rematch. Yep. Uh, we've got Okada taking on Roderick Strong. Fun. Rematch. We've got 
Th this is going to be an interesting one. We have Red Dragon taking on the team of Jay Lethal and Nakamura. That is weird. Yeah. Uh, and then we also have the Briscoes taking on the Time Splitters. Hmm. Uh, other people set to appear are The Addiction, Michael Elgin, ACH, Adam Cole, The Kingdom, RPG Vice, Young Bucks, Matt Seidel, Moose, Donovan, Dijak, Cedric Alexander, Adam Page, Dalton Castles, House Young. <gasps> but then they go on their tour again. Uh, on the 29th, uh, they'll be starting their Reloaded tour. They got three dates set for this. Uh, what show is this tour leading up to? This will be leading up to uh, the All Star Extravaganza nights one and two. Uh, so on August 29th, they'll be in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, on September 11th, they'll be in Dearborn, Michigan. And on September 12th, they'll be in Chicago Ridge, Illinois. No matches announced for any of those shows yet. And I'm pretty sure I know of a match that's going to be happening on night one of the All-Star Extravaganza. I haven't seen anything. There might, there might have been rumblings on the internet. Uh, I'm fairly certain that we're going to get a rematch between Jay Lethal and Roderick Strong. Probably. On night one, uh, and then during the TV tapings, we'll get a number one contender to face the winner of that match during night two. Probably, uh, and uh, Austin Aries, since he is making his return to ROH, uh, he is prominently uh, featured on uh, posters and whatnot for all those shows, so he'll probably be getting thrown into that title picture. We know that he's a former ROH world champion. Uh, he's had matches with both Jay Lethal and Roderick Strong in the past, so I'm sure he'll just add to the crazy mix of talent that is in the ROH world title picture. But that's all I got for upcoming shows. That's all we got for the indie news. So be sure to like, favorite, subscribe. Click all those links and click all underneath them. them. Underneath us. I was gonna say them, but them is us. Yeah, we are we are we are them. Them are we. And I am you and you are me and Cuckoo Pichu. Sucker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of links. Yeah, there's, there's Facebook in I was gonna say there's an imager. <laughs> we don't have one of those. <laughs> we don't have one of those. Uh, we have an Instagram. That's we what do. starts with. I have an Instagram. So uh, I post some stuff. There's Instagram. There's a Reddit. There's a Tumblr. There's Twitters. There's emails. Emails. Our emails. His emails. And there's a playlist. And above all of our links are links to old people we just got done talking about. We got websites. Uh, you can you can find their Twitters. Their Tumblrs if they've got them. Uh, they've got. Yeah, check out look, lookmonofans.com. Yeah. It's beyond wrestling. ROHwrestling.com. AA Wrestling. AIW.com. DGUSA.TV. WWNLive.com. All that stuff. ChikaraPro.com. And down in the comments. CZWrestling.com. Yeah. Down in the comments, be sure to post if there's any promotions that you want us to talk about, any local promotions you've got. Send us Twitters, Tumblrs. Facebooks, websites, anything they've got to promote their stuff so we can take a look and let you know what we think about them. Yeah, we'll plug your guys' shows if you want. We're down for you it. You just got to let us know. Please. We'll put your names and if you, we might work out, we can put your faces on the YouTube if you want. Might cost you. Buy me a sandwich. Chest and above pictures, please. No big pics. We can put your new dicks on the internet. That's just that's just how we're gonna build up a card. It's like Chris Hero's penis versus Johnny Gargano's oh, penis. Oh good lord, no. We don't need that. Joey Ryan's penis versus Colt Cabana's penis. No. No. Too many ding dings. Alright guys. Start sending them in. No. Fanstarwrestling.gmail.com. No! Send them to the Kevin Hawk one. I don't wanna see that shit. Just, uh, I'm scared of the ding ding talk. Just you were so excited about the ding dings at the beginning of the week. <laughs> yeah, but not when they show up. Uh, yeah, just uh, keep 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 uh, keep on keeping on, and we'll check you out, and you'll check us out for the raw review coming up after this next Monday Night Raw. <laughs> we'll